The other point, though, out of this, and, and turn if you would to Deuteronomy chapter 32, and I know uh, alcohol consumption in my sermons, but I, I do that on purpose because to me this is one of the, if I could get some things to stick in your mind on how the Bible uses the word wine and how that, that word is not used only to talk about alcoholic beverages, but it actually is used to, to encompass the whole spectrum of the liquid that comes forth out of fruit. It doesn't even necessarily have to be grapes. You read Song of Solomon, but historically we're looking at grapes or maybe more of the time we're looking at the grape juice but sometimes it uses the word wine to refer to fermented grape juice, which has alcohol, and sometimes it is not. And clearly, clearly in Isaiah, verse 8, it says, as the new wine is found in the cluster. How much alcohol content does the juice of the grape in the cluster that's still on the vine have inside of it? It's going to have None. But it's referring to that as the new wine. But I thought all wine has alcohol in it. Well, apparently not. You think that, and I understand why people think that, because that's how we speak today. The English language today, when people say the word wine, they're, they're referring to alcoholic content wine. That is very understandable. But you have to also understand that the English language is not, like, brand new. Okay, it's been around for hundreds of years. And when people would use that term, you know, four or 500 years ago, it was used to encompass a broader spectrum than just alcoholic wine. And one evidence of this is found there in Isaiah 65. But in Deuteronomy 32, look at verse number 33. Or excuse me, verse number 30. Let's, let's start up in verse number 31. The Bible says, for their rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges, even them being judged, they know that their rock is not the same as our rock. What rock are they referring to here? Jesus Christ, the Lord, right? Their rock is not as our rock. Verse 32, for their vine is of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah, their grapes are grapes of gall. Their clusters are bitter. Look at this. Their wine is the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of asps. Now, many times in Scripture, you're going to see wine referred to as a blessing, as something that's going to bring joy, as something that's good. And then in other parts of the Bible, you're going to have the exact opposite, like it says right here. Hey, their wine. Now, if you're differentiating between their wine versus our wine... It says their wine is the, is the poison of dragons and the, the cruel venom of asps. Then our wine must be very different. But there is wine that exists that's poison. And even the world will tell you today that alcoholic wine is poison. It's poison. It's toxic. That's why you get a toxicology report. When people are either deceased or maybe they have an accident or something, you get a toxicology. Why? They want to see what type of toxins are in the bloodstream. Or a person is intoxicated because what they have in their system is toxic because it's poisonous. And it specifically even brings up here that their vine is of Sodom and of Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah were, I mean, obviously horrible people, representative of horrible people who violated other people, and the wine that's used in violating other people is alcoholic wine. All the time, people are taken advantage of. They get someone drunk. I mean, read Habakkuk. It says, he that gives his neighbor drink that he may get him drunk and look on his nakedness. That's the poison of dragons. That's a wicked, wicked beverage to drink. That's why in the book of Proverbs it says, Look not thou upon the wine when it is red, when it giveth its color in a cup, when it moveth itself aright. At the last it biteth like a serpent and stingeth like an adder. Those are the references 
to a different type of wine than the wine that's a blessing, than the wine that's the new wine that's in the, in the cluster that God's going to spare because it's great, because it's good. People like to mock the Bible or they'll try to say, well, Jesus turned water into wine, right? And, and they just assume, because they assume that that word wine just always means alcohol. It doesn't. It clearly there's clearly two types of drinks being referenced here. Their wine, our wine. New wine, old wine. There's a difference. 